Hi. Okay, so say you have just bought your compact, your cream makeup. You've been intrigued by it. You've watched it. But then you get it and you're like, oh my goodness, that is kind of intimidating. That's a new system. Well, let's figure it all out. I'm going to teach you placement, um, just kind of tips, tricks, techniques to make a beautiful transition. Now I will give you a warning that when you start wearing this makeup, because it's cream makeup, so there's about twice as much pigment as um, like a liquid or powder foundation, and so less is more, you most likely will put too much on. Okay, I'm just going to say that flat out. Um, but that's okay. There's a little bit of transition. Your skin it also needs to transition because this product is naturally hydrating versus pulling moisture out. So give it a little bit, but you know, if there or if you're having any issues, always reach out to me and we'll kind of work through it. So let's get started. These are my two favorite brushes. So these are the ones that I'll generally recommend. This is the blush and bronzer brush, and this is the detail brush. They are fantastic. They'll get everything done for you, okay? So I like to start with contour, which is your darkest, coolest shade. It is for creating natural shadows. So you're going to go up on the top of your forehead, like kind of into your hairline, and you go... And this is not going to be as creamy. Your contour is not going to be as creamy as your other foundations, which is intentional. Um, so, you can be a little bit more aggressive, I guess, dipping into that, just depending on how much you like. And then, so you have all along here, I'd say like temple to temple is a good reference. Then, taking the edge of one of these... You're going to come in here and find your jawbone, or find your cheekbone, sorry, and then run it along here. And that's where you're going to place that contour, starting back near your ear, because that's where the majority of that shadow would naturally lie. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now this is your basic contour path. If you wanted to, you can contour your nose by doing the same thing taking the edge of that brush and running along the outer top of the bridge of your nose. Okay, and then underneath your bottom lip, creating kind of a full shadow, and then along your jawline. This will help with if um, you're looking to kind of reduce the look of jowls or just creating a little bit more of a natural shadow because I know I like to slim my face a little bit more. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my brightening highlight, which is going to be my lightest shade. I'm going to take this tapered end of here, go one, two, three, four, pretty light, and then start at the inner corner of my eyes. And, like, and then you do not need to go all the way up to the lash line. You can just, you stay down there. And then I like to go on my lids and be gentle with this area naturally. You can go on your lids and that'll help cancel out some of that redness. Or not red, or like vascularity in your lids. Just kind of blending it in very gently. This end is a really soft brush, so it'll blend out beautifully. Okay, so now that I kind of have brightness in my eyes, I'm going to go back in, and we're just going to focus on the center of the face. So they're down in between that contour strip, and then I put a little dot on the end of my nose. The Cupid's bow. And the center of my chin. Okay. There we go. There's that. Now, this is where I'm going to switch out my brush because this is, has kind of a broader end. This, the smaller end here. 
And this is where I can go in with my main shade. So that middle shade there, one, two, three, four, three to four taps. And I'm gonna start where I need the most pigment and I'm going to pat it in. Pat, pat, pat. Kind of trying to avoid major swiping motions, especially in areas where you want more coverage. Like here along my jawline, where I personally don't need as much coverage, there I don't have to put as much makeup. I can do a little bit of the swirly thing and really blend it out. Now, when you come up to your contour, blend the edges of the contour. Because if you blend... Because if you blend too much like into the contour, it'll end up looking muddy and just kind of misplaced. So really just along the edges. Okay, and then blending out that mouth contour. And really what we're just doing is like I said, we're just blending in like in between. I have buddies with me. Um, oh geez, there goes my light. Like anywhere that we haven't put color already, like brightening, brightener or contour is where we put that main shade. And then just around there and then I'll just kind of, I can oh, blend. Okay, don't forget down your neck since you put that contour along your jaw. Just very lightly. Okay, now we move on to blush. This is, you've probably picked out your own blush shade or you've gone with what I've recommended for you. Just go in with your brush, start lightly, and then just dab it on. I am using a different brush. This is my favorite one. You can use the blush and bronzer brush because it's called a blush and bronzer brush for a reason. This is the shape brush and I have been loving that as well. All right. Now I'm going in with a satin color. And so this is one way that you can apply blush or you can go in with your finger and kind of and lightly dab it on I do it above my contour so do it above your contour and then this one you can lightly swirl don't get too aggressive with it because you don't want to move your uh, what's what you've already laid down and then you can also like if you don't have issues with like redness or anything like that in your cheeks you can just put blush straight on. You don't have to even, like for me where I layer it a little bit, that's just for coverage. And then just brush a little on your nose. It creates some continuity. So it's just a preference thing. I like to have that continuity. But, so there, there's like very basic contour. And this is the basic kit that I always recommend, contour. Brightening highlight, main highlight, and blush. So, there's your basic look. And congratulations. I hope that you just absolutely love this makeup. I assure you, you will. Um, but let me know if you have any issues. It There is a little bit of a transition. Or usually is a little bit of transition. So, just fair warning. Okay, you guys have a great day.